Well, hey, engineering students, this is a quick video to help you out if you are needing some guidance on getting started with the different pages that you're going to put together for your portfolio on this project. Uh, so let's start off with uh, page one, the title page. Uh, so over in on shape, um, let's go ahead and click the insert new tab and choose create drawing. And don't forget to select the existing templates created by you for the um, drawing template that you've put together. And first things first, it's going to ask you to select something. So um, feel free to uh, switch on over to assemblies and to pick the automata assembly or whatever your assembly tab happens to be called. So, um, yep, that's going to bring the whole thing in. Instead of front view, I do want isometric view of this. So let's go ahead and place this. And if you do end up wanting to switch this over to portrait, uh, go ahead and right click in the white space and choose sheet properties and then just change the size to a portrait and then we'll just have to scoot a couple things over but that shouldn't be too too terrible to get moving all right so if you feel like you want to make this bigger of course you can double click on it whoa oh okay um well hold on <laughs> I'm going to right click and maybe choose edit and see if that helps uh, view properties. It did not. Okay. Well, um, sorry about that. We're going to change that scale size to one to two, maybe, or whatever happens to get clicked on one to one. Nope. Let's try again. One to two. Hey, there we go. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I hope that doesn't continue. Um, all right, there we go. You can always delete that scale one to two if you don't want to see that, but definitely do sh uh, show the shaded view on this so we can get a good look at some of the colors and things like that. And then, um, so if you're wanting to put in a text box, uh, that would be a note feature. Um, there we go. So click and then drag to just kind of move it along. And um, you'll probably want to change the text height because um, 0.12 inches is really quite small. Um, so I guess that would be like 12 point font maybe. Uh, let's go to like 0.22 and see what happens. I don't know. All right, so let's see what was the kind of formatting. Uh, project lead the way. If you want different um, fonts, you can choose a different font, of course. Intro to engineering design, your name and maybe a date. Yeah, whatever, whatever date you're doing this on. And I think I will highlight all of that and, and center that up. And again, if you want to make it a bigger font, try 0.25 or 0 0.30 or whatever you want to try. If you want to make a bold, make a bold, whatever, whatever you'd like to do there. Okay, so that is your title sheet. That looks really good. Um, so here's a sneaky little trick that I'm going to do. Instead of making a brand new drawing sheet and having like a bunch of drawings over and over and over, I'm actually going to open this um, tab here and I'm going to add sheets in here. So they're all going to be in one drawing file tab. And so I'm actually going to rename sheet one. I'm going to rename this as title page or you could list it as page one or something like that. Um, and that way, you know that, aha, I did the title page. So next up is the, the second page. So I'm gonna, in the same tab, I'm gonna hit the plus insert sheet. So now I'm on sheet two. And if you wanna jump back and forth between the different sheets, double click, double click to move between them. So I'm gonna just kind of roll that up. And um, we're back to landscape. And apparently today's, Today's not the 10th, today is the 9th. <laughs> okay, that's weird. This is the 10th somewhere, I suppose, in a different time zone. Um, okay, uh, so what's next? Next up is the box assembly with all views. So we want everything in there. Um, this one's not gonna be too challenging either. So if we go to the drop down to insert view, um, yep, we want the entire image here. And so now we will have to do all of these um, projections of views. So you'll have to keep clicking on the reference and clicking, clicking on the reference and clicking. And then we also want a bottom view. We want a left view. 
and then um, we want a back view which I don't think we can get from there. So let's project from the left view and pull left, and I bet that'll be the back. That's the back. Okay, so this all looks good. Let's shade the isometric as always. And box assembly with all views. That's literally it. We don't have to uh, label anything. We don't have to dimension anything. Um, so that's good enough. So I'm gonna rename that all box views. Okay, so page two is done. All right, we are just clipping right along. So again, I'm going to keep everything in this one drawing tab, add a new sheet. So we're on to sheet three. This is where it's going to take a little bit of time. So page three says to be sure to put in the bottom, one side, the top, and the back. Label and dimension each one, add a bill of materials, call outs, and edit the columns. Be sure your parts are named. Go back to the source file as needed to name. So in your assembly or in your box parts, wherever the follower parts, wherever you're at, make sure that every single part along this bottom left hand side has a name. We don't want anything that says part one, part two, etc. cetera. Uh, same for the cams, right? You want names for every cam, including like cam blob, etc. cetera, um, that kind of stuff. Oh, that was a bad drawing. Ignore that drawing. Okay, so I also need a, a parts list. So we can do that once and we won't ever have to do that again. So I'm gonna click on the bill of materials button here. Um, so this open it up. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the part number. We don't have that. I'm gonna get rid of description, but I am going to add name because that's gonna take care of it. And so quantity is actually pretty useful this time because we do have multiple callers and multiple followers and so on. So um, yeah, we're, we're good there. And I think I can close that right back up. I don't need, need anything else on the bill of materials. So this page, we, we actually just want the box. So I did hit the update button. Um, so I'm gonna insert view, but um, it's bringing in the entire assembly. Um, so I'm gonna click once, and I'm just gonna bring in this one view, and I only want the box. So I'm going to right click and choose to hide, show slash hide parts. So everything I click on is going to be hidden and so, yep, I want all this to be hidden. It's a little tedious, um, but yeah, all I want is the wooden box, all right? So I don't want the axle. I don't want any of the cams. And we can ed edit this at any time by either clicking again or by re-entering this. Um, so I'm gonna green check that. And it looks like, yep, that's all I've got is just the box. So now I don't just want um, this front view. I actually do want a projected view of the isometric. There we go. So that looks good. So that's a tricky way of only showing certain pieces by hiding everything else. Um, then what else? Well, I need all of the different unique sides. So I'm going to insert a specific view, um, but instead of the entire assembly, I'm gonna choose on insert a single part. So it's looking in my current document and um, yeah, so we can look at individual part studios. So yeah, I could bring in the uh, backside. So click on that, it'll update. So it's bringing in the back. that's the back. <laughs> so you, wherever you end up placing it, you might want to, um, yeah, give it a little note. Uh, it doesn't have to be a big note, um, but we do need to know it says the back. Okay. So yeah, just kind of put that there together. Eventually we'll dimension that. Um, okay. But we can't stop there. We have to insert. Again, click on the insert tab. And then it's gonna look in our part studios and you can choose these drop downs. Yep, we need the bottom. And so the bottom, let's see how that looks. It comes in flat because of how it was built. So let's drag it up or down either way um, and get rid of the skinny one. So here's the bottom. Notice how it's a little bit wider than the back. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a note in for bottom. Okay. And you can move those around later. You can center them up, that kind of thing. But again, we'll eventually 
end up dimensioning that. Okay, what else? Uh, we still need to insert more parts because we need the top and we need a side. Okay, so click the insert tab. Um, and again, you can look for the box parts either here in parts or under part studios. The left side and the right side are identical, so don't worry about that. Um, the top you'll have to project and then get rid of. There we go. And so the top actually already has the center marks in, so that's good. And we can move that top. Screen check that. And again, eventually we will um, dimension that too. And then insert. Um, Insert tab. Yep, we're gonna bring in one of the sides. It doesn't matter which one. And then I guess instead of like clicking and then projecting, I could say, hey, actually show me the left side. That way it flips the orientation. You don't have to delete. So that's an option. And side. Okay. So again, all of these things are things that can be moved, especially because we might find that we want more room for dimensioning, that kind of thing. Oops. I guess something here got attached weirdly. Eh. Okay, so if needed, you know, re reset things and, and rename them. Um, okay, if anything acts weird, just delete it and try again. <laughs> That's my best advice. Delete it and try again. Uh, don't forget to shade. Always show the shaded view on the isometric. Okay, so those are all the box parts. You'll end up dimensioning them if you want to make them bigger make them bigger, right? So this does not show everything, right? Your job is to do the work and then put those things in. But it would be a good time to look at this parts list because every time we bring in the parts list, it's gonna bring in everything. And it's, we can edit it. it it's a little clunky, but it's not bad. So I, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the parts list. So the drop down next to note, we're looking for BOM table or, or bill of materials table. So it brings everything in. I'm just gonna put it off to the side right now. And the only parts that we're interested in are the box parts. So if I hover over axle, um, oh, actually let's hover over top, uh, right click on that and choose split BOM table below. So you'll notice that I split it at the spot where um, now I have kind of two separate tables. So I can drag this in and place it wherever I want. Just kind of line it up, that'd be fine. And then the crazy part is we can't delete this part that we don't want. Um, so we're just gonna leave it off to the side. When we go to print this, that won't print. We won't have to worry about it. Only the stuff that's on the white page will actually print. Um, so. Now we have, yep, the back, bottom, left side, right side, and top. All good. Don't have to worry about everything over there. And let's go ahead and bring those callouts in as well. Um, so right click near there, look for the balloon, the callout, right? And so we have our top, that's number five. Um, click on the right side, that's number four. Click on the bottom, that's number two. Left side is number three. Uh, so the tricky one is the back right because we don't actually see it but if you can zoom super in super far and click back there um, and then just kind of drag this off at an angle all balloons are at an angle um, so make sure nothing is vertical and nothing is horizontal um, so that would be our parts list our view with the callouts on it right don't forget to dimension all these but that's the idea behind trying to separate out and show specific pieces or parts um, in our documentation. So this was page three, page three. So this was the uh, box and dimensions. Um, okay. Or you could name it, you can name it whatever you want. Page three would be fine too. So don't forget to actually dimension it, right? You need to include all that. Um, but we do already have the bill of materials, callouts, and um, columns. So that's good. Page four, right? That's going to be a new page and kind of the same idea. You'll have just some of the parts showing in the um, corner there, and then you'll insert them. You'll dimension them as far as you can. 
Um, so be sure to get all those things in there. Same idea about, you know, cutting the table where you can. Page five, just like that again, this time with a different grouping of parts. And then lastly, page six, the exploded view drawing file. Um, if you need some help with um, that exploding view, exploded view, uh, click on this link. That'll help you out with um, the exploded view as well. So those are some things to look for. Hopefully that will help you out. And uh, I think that will do it for this one.